Hello and welcome to my video. Showcasing a new mod that I'm working on and well, there it is already. <laughs> um, it's basically a firefighter mod and what it does is, as you can see, it spawns a random fire on the map and it's your job to find where the fire is. Uh, giving hints, given by hints on the top right corner like the distance. Uh, as well as you can see that the fire status is currently stable but it's growing at some point. <laughs> not really clear indicator, but you can see how many fires are there, and then it's your job to put them out. Uh, I will go a little bit quicker because this building is really flammable, and I want to showcase stuff. Hopefully, I can put it out of time. Please go out. There we go. Almost. As you can see, you get a score based on your performances, and I was really quick on scene because of my flight <laughs> cheat mode there, right there. Um, but you get also a firefighting time score, so that means that how much time you took for the fire to get... I believe the fire is still going. How much time you took for the fire to put out the fire, extinguish the fire, and the fire control scores, how many fires uh, were created after you were on scene. And that's what causes you additional... And the mod isn't perfect, I won't tell you that, because uh, it detected no fires, but something just lit on fire right after <laughs> it detected no fires, so... Anyhow, this mod uh, has some additional aids. You have the settings here, you can say, show me the fire location, so the next fire that appears and notif is notified to you, you will give a visual hint of where the actual fire is. Besides the one that was uh, the wall hacky one, and the fire, you can random. Oh, my keyboard is acting up a bit. You can randomize how much time it takes for the fire to start and how long it takes for the notify to reach you. And as you see, there's an eight, and the fire is huge, uh, and it's already on the opposite side of the map. So, please, for oh my goodness, I need a fast car. So this is basically how this mod works. You have also additional fire uh, official aid, so you can, uh, well, this fire, fire is probably not savable anymore. You can say, I don't want me uh, the official desired fire location. You get no aid in the actual location of the fire. Oh, this car is close to a drive wall. Oh, uh, it's really on the opposite side of the map. I'm gonna the shortcut. Okay, yeah, the fire is... Uh As you can see, you hear some notification sounds. You can, you can disable the radio calls if you want to, if it's not something you like. Uh, but I think it adds a little bit of a... Pipe. I'm not really sure what's the right word for it, but it, but it gives you the more firefighter esque feeling that you're actually being called from the scene and that you report your statuses, of, although it does it automatically currently. Uh, oh, this stair is on fire. Um, uh, this might be easy to put out. Because some buildings are really easy to extinguish the fire on. There's still a fire. Oh no, it's gone. Alright, so as you can see, again, I got a quite a low firefighting time score because it took me a while to put them out. Um, fire co and the rest of them are quite high, so I did pretty decent. Um, additionally, you can set the uh, factors that are used to calculate those scores. So, uh, for example, you have the arrival time factor. So, for example, if I set it to 2 or really low, you have to be really quick on scene. Otherwise, your score will be really low. And the fire extinguish time factor, so the uh, per fires that are the amount of fires that are there the moment you arrive on, uh, uh, arrive on scene, I can't speak English, um, is being multiplied by this value, and that's the time you have to put out the current fire that is there. And based on if you're within that limit, then you get a higher percentage. I hope that's clear. You have the option to disable the sound. You have the options to change the fire generation and you have some general options such as presets so currently i'm on the uh, editor preset and 
that's about it. So let's fight this fire. Of course, the timer only starts if you accept it, so <laughs> not really realistic in that sense, but I didn't pay attention to where this was actually. Uh, well, oh, there it is. I can walk there. Um, additionally, I would uh, like to add this will change uh, because the setting isn't really working as intended, but you can show hints to the fire. Oh, wow, it flamed out. <laughs> okay, no fire for me. Anyhow, uh, what I wanted to show you is that there are hints to fire locations and, and, the and how close you are to the fire, so far, farther, closest. Or you can set the actual distance to the fire, show the actual distance to the fire that you have between you and the fire. Um, well, I hope that makes it clear. And if it doesn't, then please ask questions, and if you have any suggestions or any things you want to talk about, please let me know. Okay, there's a fire, and I can actually see it happening. I just drove past this building. That's accepted. This thing doesn't drive uh, past reverse. <laughs> Oh, I'm on sea now. And I have to get out this fire, which is already quite huge. I don't think I open. Oh, the door just fell apart. This building is really flammable as well. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure if I can fight this. At the moment it costs above like a hundred fires in the vicinity, I, it's basically you're done. Because you can't fight this on your own. I'm not sure you can. Well, I am. I'm, I'm really, I can't see a sh I think. Yeah, I believe that this is the staircase, so. Watch that. Yeah, this building is uh, basically uh, done for. <laughs> and there's nothing more I can do. So, um, well, that's basically the mod. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I wish you happy firefighting times. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.